been taught now, and again it's another using leg to assist the arm, it's called the cradle. You're cutting like this, yeah. and <laughs> it's, well, you're going down, down, and what you're doing, if you notice where the bar is coming in, it's that go zone that's touching yep. first. Perfect. So as long as you're doing that, you can walk in. All right, here again. Good afternoon. My name is Jim Cather, and I'm the zone or the regional protection officer for Whitehorse. Everyone has cut brush. The old traditional way of cutting this brush is like that usually. You're down there, you're going through. Besides getting the sore back, you've got multiple different uh, pieces of brush and branch pulling on your chain. That can come off and creates the hazard. The way that we've been taught and are going to teach you guys is a lot more effective. The only thing that may affect you is depending on if you're a shorter guy, because you want the chain, you want it in the cradle of your leg. So it's sort of like, as you're moving, it's fully in control there, something goes up, it's going this way. The longer legged guys might have to stretch out more and really get, get in there. Shorter legged guys would be close. But the overall point is when you're coming in, you're coming in and what are you cutting with? What's gonna to touch the ground first? The go, the go. Zone. go. You're not playing around at all, at all with the no, it's always gonna be the go. The you're not coming in control. like this, where anything can happen, you're coming in fully. And what I'm doing here is called what? Without starting a saw and running, I'm Shadow doing a demo boxing. of what's that called? Shadow boxing. <laughs> Shadow boxing. So by teaching you and learning how to do that, chain brake's still on, even though it's not running, I can come in, cut, move, cut. If you have to, chain brake's on, you can flip it aside, and I'll demonstrate that. If not, put the chain brake on, set the saw down, pick it up, move it, and resume cutting. And at that time, everything that you've seen me do so far, how much have I been bent over? None. So your fatigue is going to be less. You'll be able to cut more line. You will still get tired, but it's a lot safer and a lot more effective. It's easier to pick it up and move it, but while doing that, you're also enabling yourself to guarantee what you've cut and what you haven't cut. And the ground's opened up, you can start to go back in with the saw and continue to cutting and continue to open. Seconds wise, time wise, it can take very long. In a fire crew, you can have three guys, you can have two crews together. So if you've got a second guy with you, first guy could come through, start doing that cuts. Nice. Next guy coming in, widen it a bit more. And all the brush and stuff is taken, thrown away from the fire side. Then you've got your trail in. In our training, you have to have an escape route. Escape route to our fire truck, our ambulance will be out there. So this would be a short distance to cut. But I've been on fires, we've cut kilometers of line. 